Moses joining me for our first look at sports and of course Battle of the Birds last night, Border City Blue Jays versus the Unity Cardinals, game one of the NSRBL semifinals. You might say birds of a feather play together <laughs> or play against each other. Granted, it doesn't necessarily fit, but I'll tell you what does, putting one foot in the NSRBL final for either team. And we'll jump to the bottom of the third with the game still scoreless. Brent Bowman, he'll hit one to left. Curry Carlson waved home. And there'll be a play at the plate. He'll avoid the tag. One nothing for the Bluebirds. Next pitch, Rhett Fazers. Pitch will hit or hop into the dirt. Land Noise will come in to score. They double their lead. Now same inning, deja vu, another passed ball, leading to Bowman safely crossing the plate. Three to nothing, Border City. The Jays add two more runs in the fourth, and pitching will take care of the rest after this. My oh my. Jason Fector at the dish, or at on the mound rather, Retiring eight batters and ending the game with a strikeout. 5 nothing was the final for the Jays, who broke out of their slump by, get this, sacrificing some Mary Brown's chicken. I kid you not. The baseball gods approve, and so do I. Jays put up more runs in game one than their entire series against North Battleford. Here's Reuben Baker with more on his team's victory. We got a couple lucky breaks. We turned some walks and, uh, and a few mistakes on there and into runs and, and had good execution when we did have runners on tonight. I think Unity definitely knew that if they got down, uh, they were going to be in trouble because our pitching has been uh, pretty dominant so far in, uh, in playoffs and, and throughout the year. So uh, definitely a huge, huge boost for us if we can uh, put a couple crooked numbers up. Meanwhile, the Wilkie Brewers force a third and deciding game in this series against Lloyd Minster. They take it by a score of five to three, which means game three goes tonight, 630 at Legion Ball Park. And I'll tell you, sacrificing chicken, you thought you'd only see that in the movie Major League. Well, maybe that was the case for Jason Fector, the Border City Blue Jays slugger, was named the 2014 NSRBL MVP. Now, Fector received eight of the 12 teams' votes, three first place votes, four were second place votes. Fector pitched 33 innings of an ERA of 1.70 with a whip of .94, picking up three wins and striking out 38 batters. Jason also led the NSRBL in batting average, hits, doubles, home runs, and was second in RBI. Now Lloydminster Twins Chris Osmack and Meadow Lakes Quincy Winkler finished second and third in league voting. After a lengthy break due to Mother Nature canceling the Canada Cup, CPCA drivers finally get back on the track tonight in Dewberry. The Frog Lake First Nations Prairie Racing Series will be a hot one weather-wise as well as the drivers on the track. The top nine drivers will go head-to-head -head in the playoff round with the top three vying for a cool $25,000 in prize money on Sunday. Over $100,000 are up for grabs during the four days. This will also see a new champion as Wayne Knight will not be racing for the third consecutive week. The Lloydminster Twins entered the NSRBL postseason as the favorites. Now, you could say that some of that success can be attributed to a certain individual. He's an integral part of their team, but you won't find his name on the roster. Nairman Esau explains. With an extra spring in his step, Harley heads to the field. As the players take their positions, so too does Harley. He just picked his spot and that's where he lays no matter where we are. He keeps an eye on us but he will always lay in that spot. That's his spot. With just the chain link fence between him and the play, Harley watches in anticipation. Just like that, he's off. Harley's on the hunt for the foul ball. The six-year-old Border Collie is the team's official ball boy. We never actually trained him to go and get foul balls and bring him back, but he sure loves doing it. And the crowd loves watching him. Now, Harley is definitely a fan favorite at times. He steals the attention away from the play. Now, he's always watching, especially when two Twins players are up at bat. See, Harley here is a family pet of Brett and Cole Kostaski. A little disappointing when everybody likes him more than he likes you. He comes out to every game. He probably loves the game more than some of the people in the stands. In his first season with the Twins, the four-legged rookie has proven to be a key piece. The players love him, and he loves spending his nights at the ball diamond. Whenever you're a little down on yourself, you look over to him and he's always having a good time. So it kind of cheers you up to see him always running around, giving his best. So we got to give our best for him. 
or else he's not going to have any more baseball games. He's our number one fan, right? He's always here. He's always getting foul balls, and you can always count on him to bring him back, too. Like, it's kind of neat to have a dog that's trained that well and is always here for you. It's kind of, kind of a neat feeling. You could say that Harley's a team's secret weapon, something no other team can claim. This would be their good luck charm, definitely. Yeah, I like to think so. I always ask my mom, like, is Harley going to be there? If he's not, then I kind of I get down before I leave the house. And, yeah, it's nice to see him here every day. But Harley has some company. There's another furry prospect on deck. Luna is only nine months old and is in training to maybe one day take over the role. You know, me and my girlfriend bought her and hoping she'd be as smart as Harley. So far, it's not as going as well as planned. But uh, yeah, we hope, we hope she could be as good as a dog as him one day, I guess. But for now, it's Harley's show. So as long as the team is playing, Harley will be there to play a game of fetch with foul balls. Nairmanisa. <laughs> New Cap Sports. <laughs> That's one clever dog. All right, we'll stick with baseball or a sport of that like in softball. After months of training and tournaments, the Lloydminster Blues U14 squad is gearing up for some great competition this weekend as they play host to the U14 Western Canadians. Waiting a long time for, for this week to come, so uh, we hope the best is yet to come. Unbelievable. It's like the highest level of ball you can play at this age. And to host it here in Lloyd is just a huge responsibility, a huge, huge honor. The under-14 Blues have had their ups and downs this season, but the young ladies hope a recent surge in the second half of the season will have them singing a different tune come Western Canadians. We're more comfortable than we started at the beginning of the season. We started with an 0-6 record in our first tournament, and we've been slowly climbing the ladder up. And so hopefully this will be the peak of our season. I think we gave up. 58 runs and scored 15 and after that we've been above 500 so we've been we've been real happy. Now the attention turns to teams that are from the unknown, from BC, from Manitoba, from Saskatchewan, yeah. meaning the Blues will have to step up their game. We're going in thinking everybody's going to be at the top of their game and we're going to see the best team so um, hopefully our girls are, are ready for the ready for the challenge. The Blues have added three key additions from Edmonton like Taylor Trudgeon who got a pleasant surprise about the call-up. I was at a friend's house and she called me and she's like, ball's not over for you yet, you're going to Western, so I was really excited. They give us some much needed depth uh, in terms of a little bit of pitching, a little bit of fielding, uh, so, uh, some good bats, so I think that's gonna, that's gonna really help us uh, come, you know, when you're competing. And as their first game approaches on Friday, the goal for the team is simple. I want us to just play as we can play. I don't want silly mistakes as we've been doing all season. So I just want everyone to play to their fullest ability this weekend. 